All right, so here is everything out um, for our beginning of our spring studies and home learning activities. So I'm gonna walk you through everything um, generally at high level as what's on the bookshelves up here. And then we'll take a quick look as well um, at what is in the cupboards because I always get lots of questions about uh, all the storage in here. So um, top portion obviously is just some books of ours, but then the bottom four shelves, I guess, um, is all just different resources we like to keep out that we make use of. So different seasonal stuff. So I try to alternate like the color scheming a little bit so it all flows well. You can see some gardening sort of stuff up top, um, clouds and then more gardening and just sort of loose parts and things there. Lots of tree port toys in the glass jars. Most of the glass jars with lids, the small ones here are from um, Dollarama, big one is Ikea. And then there's a couple sets mixed in here from Amazon as well. And then we have down here, our little Montessori clock and our Guthrie mats there, chock full of design, um, chalkboards, some of our blocks and three part uh, tray, more books, lots of books on display, some rainbow goodies. I'm going to be adding our St. Patrick's Day stuff to that section very soon. Busy spring, these sort of books and chalkboards, just layering things so you can see different layers. I am looking for a plant for that back planter, but I've yet to find one that's going to fit in there nicely. Um, and then some nesting bird stuff up top here and more of the wood resources. Um, and then over here, got some painting things, um, an alphabet puzzle, some little animals, and um, down here some more weather stuff. So lots of different uh, art pieces for this weather set. And then felts in the background, grab hat, uh, loose parts, and then some gems over there. And then some more gardening things. The little set in the back is from Dollarama, just in a little terracotta pot. And then our nice big beautiful gardening puzzle up in the garden, down in the dirt book, and then some pieces, more loose parts that go with, uh, with that. And then lots of trays here and some more chalkboards. And then as we go over here, a hundred board, our calendar, all a uh, big collection of books here, the things that we're going to use this spring. And then some stuff we're gonna be moving into a little bit later is bees. So you can see all of our bee resources here. And then as well up top, uh, we get into like ladybugs and butterflies. We're gonna move into that next. And then further up, got some miscellaneous things, but also our pond life stuff which we will be moving into a little bit later um so that's really everything that's out on display there's like loose parts all throughout it's very busy um but i like having all that stuff handy because they're all things i'll incorporate into our setups um and our learning activities this spring so um that's that if you have any questions about anything that's up top um let me know but there you go you can take another quick look at it and then I will put as well in the description box, all the things. So um, cupboards, this one here, this two of these aren't well organized. Um, this is one of them, needs a wipe down I see, but um, this just has our games and our um, puzzles and things of that nature. Uh, and then some extra learning resources down here. And then in the next one over, so these two have do have, we need some handles on here, but they do have um, some drawers in them. And then on the bottom, I've put in one of these Ikea storage bins. So in the top two drawers, so this side here, I have tons more <laughs> loose parts, all organized in these plastic containers that I got on Amazon. Um, and then just like you can see, there's all kinds of felt here. And then just like gems and wood loose parts, our little bowls, some natural like nature loose parts back there, sticks and things like that. Some of the gardening stuff we'll be using this season. And then in here, all the tubes sets are there that we'll be using this spring and then the life cycle as well. And so for instance, on the life cycle, we've got like these wood sets. And then I have as well like the... Um, safari or whatever it is 
uh, life cycle set there. And then these are all just organized alphabetically. If I can get it back in here, there. And we have that, like, it's basically the situation for a few of these. Um, and then some of them we don't have the trays for, it's just the pieces and the cards. So that's that. And then in the next one down, I've got in here, um, lots of sensory stuff. So tons of sensory trays um, on both sides there you can see. And then all of our bags, everything is labeled so I can see where everything is. And it goes basically from dark to light, like across the back and all the way works its way forward to the lighter colors. We have some potion play stuff down here, extra little trays and some things that I just couldn't fit in other spots. And then a random assortment of our little animals that we use randomly through the year. And then down here, so this is where I'm keeping. I have a puzzle just placed on top. And I'll show you a look at this just quickly. So this is one of our puzzles for the fall. I just have to, I didn't tuck that in there. I have to, got some extra loose parts just on the side here. But so you can see, this is where I'm keeping other seasonal stuff. So here we have all of my um, fall um, homeschool stuff just tucked away into this little space so that it's available if I want anything. If I want any of these little things, I can grab them. It's not too far off. Um, but yeah, that's that. I'm just going to slide this out of the way. Because the downfall with these cupboards is that you do have to close with the drawers in there, you have to close the one to open the other one. So this one is not in its finest, the finest condition. It's not quite done yet, um, but I'll share a look at it with you. So it's crafting stuff in here. So like all of beeswax crafts, craft stuff and like painting and glue and clay and our flower press and a bunch of painting stuff in there. And then I have tons more crafting stuff that I have to bring and put in here and I haven't done that yet. So right now we've just got what we have in there. Some paints and just our wood burner and like just tons of stuff in there for different crafting activities. And then in this one as well, a little bit under construction, but right now it's Play-Doh. So there's Play-Doh uh, parts and stamps and things like that in there. This one is a bit of a mess. I need more of these. They're all starting to rust. So I'm looking for a different style of glass jar to store our Play-Doh in. I'm still on the hunt for something good there. So then once I have that, I'll replace that. And we've got lots of room in there for all of our Play-Doh. And then the bottom as well is just another one of the storage bins. And that's like our summer stuff. I think that's in there right now. And then the last cupboard, probably the least organized um, of them all, but let me just move this chalkboard out of the way. This folds up our lovely little chalkboard, folds up so nicely. And then down here, I've got, show you. So it's a little bit messy, but basically it's where I have. This giant bin is all of my prep stuff. It is not organized. I need to work on that. But then the other bins are all of our homeschool materials. And then I just have our extra like books and like things that the kids use here and there, randomly placed throughout our clipboards and things tucked in the sides. But then, so all of our printables are organized to based off of season. So green over here is like spring and summer stuff. The red is fall and like heading into winter. And then this one's actually gray. And there's one out of place there, obviously, but it's gray and that goes through the winter. And then that way I have everything organized seasonally and they all have file folders in them. Um, I can show you a closer look at that at some point if people are really interested. Actually, if they don't, I can pull it out right now, I think. I don't know how well this is going to go. Let's just see if I can do this because I only have one hand. Oh, here, I can just do this. Perfect. See there. Let me just take that there. And then you can see. So that's how I organize everything. That's spring and summer. That's in there. And that's all the things. So that is how everything is organized in those spaces for now. They need a little bit more work granted, but um, that's how it is for now. So that's everything that's in the bottom drawers and everything that's up top. And I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to drop a note below and I'll get back to you um, as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching.